everyone, it's Holly the Twister Sister and I'm back again for another Tutorial Tuesday! Alright, so this week I wasn't sure what to make and I decided to do this cute little tiger headband. Uh, it's tiger on a headband on a fake head that I picked up at Hobby Lobby the other day. Woo! So uh, this is what we're going to be making. Here, I'll model it for you guys. Pretty cute, huh? <laughs> I like this and it's pretty simple to make so it'd be great for parties or other events that uh, you might get to work at. So for this design, I'm going to be using the Batalitex uh, Tiger Striped 260s or you could just use regular orange 260s, whatever you have, and then just draw the stripes on later. And I'll also be using the Qualitex Safari uh, 5 inch round with the tiger print on it for his little tummy. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so I'm going to start off with my Safari print or tiger print 260 and I'm going to kind of shove the balloon down on the tip of my pump here to write about where the stripes start on the balloon. Now if you're just using a regular 260, you don't have to worry about this. And I'm going to blow it up so it's just coming down to the end of the printed part of the balloon here. And we're not going to use this whole thing, so it doesn't matter too much. I'm going to go ahead and tie that off. And we're going to have a nice long tail on that. And then grab a white 260. And you want to leave about a three or four inch tail on this one. And we can just go ahead and tie these two directly together right from the start. Okay, and I'm actually going to cut off this long tail because it's really long and it's just going to probably get in the way later. Okay, so we've got our balloons tied together. Now go ahead and we're going to make the ears. We'll do the ears first. <laughs> so to make your tiger ears, you really want to squeeze your orange balloon out so it's nice and soft. And you want your first ear to fold over. You want to come over maybe six or seven inches and fold it over. Give it a nice squeeze and then twist it about an inch or two down. Okay, so now we've got that measured. We're going to make another bubble the same length. So squeeze your balloon down so it's nice and soft. Get a little shape there. And just measure and uh, twist this balloon back here at the bottom. Just like that. These are going to fold down and become our tiger ears in just a second. So now we're going to take our white balloon and make about a two or three inch bubble for the eyes. So that's one eye. And we're going to bring the ears down and just fold our eye over the ears and then twist the other eye and twist everything together down at the bottom here. She should have something that looks a little bit like this. It's a crazy tiger. <laughs> Um, at this point, I usually shape the ears a bit, so you want to pull them up and squeeze them. Pull it up and squeeze them. Give them some more tiger ear shape, like that. Okay, and now I'm going to take my orange balloon here. I'm going to squeeze it out so it's nice and soft. And we're going to bring this up over the eyes and twist it back down in the bottom. Okay, and I want to arrange this all so that you can see the stripes nicely. Just like that. All right, so now in the back here, you can go ahead and just leave a small little bubble, or I'm actually going to make a pinch twist is even better. So just make a small little bubble here. And then I'm going to turn that into a pinch twist and that'll just help to keep his head upright instead of leaning back like that. And we can get rid of the rest of this, so just cut it off and wrap it around to secure it. 
Okay, so there's our tiger head so far. No need to work on the mouth part. So I'm gonna do his little nose first. We're gonna come out with our white balloon about two or three inches. Make another bubble the same size and twist those together. Okay, now bring your white balloon over to one side. And this is just like the uh, little two balloon cap that I do. So you're going to take your white balloon, squeeze it and fold it to give a little bit of shape. Make a bubble about four or five inches out. And then you're gonna make about a one, one and a half inch bubble. And then twist this down into the bottom. Back into the base of the head there. Okay, and when you do it like that, it's gonna make this curve over, and that's really nice for cat whiskers or tiger whiskers. Okay, so we need to do the same thing on the other side here. So I'm gonna squeeze it, fold it a little bit, make a twist, and do about a one and a half inch bubble, and bring that back into the base of the head. Okay, so there is our tiger so far. This also makes a great cat head. Um, and now for the mouth, to finish it off, I'm just going to twist maybe a one and a half inch bubble here and then cut off the rest of this. Okay, and then I'm gonna cut off that tail there so it doesn't have a beard. <laughs> so that's our tiger head just arrange his whiskers so they're right on the sides there and now all you need for the head is a nose I like to use black for the tiger noses so get yourself a black 260 and we're just gonna put a tiny bit of air in here not even that much so his nose is gonna be about an inch or so it's gonna fit right on top of these two white bubbles so it can be just a little bit smaller than those two nose bubbles Go ahead and tie that off. So we've got my little nose here. And the way I usually attach this is I take the nozzle up underneath his nose and I bring it up top nice and tight. And then I take it back down again and then twist it back into the back of the head somewhere. So it's just gonna lock in behind that pinch twist. And now this is sticking out front. I'm gonna bring it up and over and then take the tail and just wrap it around into the back of the head as well. Okay, so that gets his nose attached and now he looks even more like a tiger. So we can get rid of the rest of this black balloon. I'm just gonna make a little knot in it so I don't lose any air out of the nose. And I'm gonna cut this off, but save this. We're gonna need this for the next step of our tiger. Okay, so now we're going to use our tiger five inch round. And using that black piece that we just cut off, I'm gonna take the open end here and I'm just going to twist off a small knot, or twist off, tie a knot, <laughs> and then cut just that knot off. So we're gonna make a raisin here. So I've just got the knot of the balloon and I'm going to slip it inside of this little five inch round. Get it on in there. Now we can blow this guy up. Okay, a little, little bit of air out there. Tie it off. Okay, so we've got the nozzle or the knot rolling around in there. And I'm going to take that black scrap again. And we're going to use that to secure our raisin. So what you need to do is get your raisin right at the very end of the balloon. Try to center it as best as you can. Once you've grabbed it, twist your balloon around just once or twice, not too much because you don't want to tear your balloon or make a hole. Grab your black uninflated balloon, hold on to it with a couple of your fingers and then twist it around that raisin a couple times. 
And then we're going to tie a, try not to squeak in the microphone, tie a double knot around that raisin so that we have a tail to work with. There we go. So now it's attached there at the end. I'm going to get rid of one of these tails because I don't need both of them. So I've got this. And I'm going to take the nozzle of our round balloon, and I'm just going to take that, and we're going to secure it between his bottom mouth bubble and the little pinch twist on the back of his head. So it's just going to go right up the center. Okay, so we've got his head on his little body. And now you're going to need to make a seven petal flower. And if you haven't seen how to do this for making headbands and bracelets, I'm going to refer you to David Brennan's perfect video for explaining how to do this. Um, so once you've gotten your seven petal flower base here, go ahead and take the tail from our raisin here. And we're just going to attach that by wrapping it around our flower petals a couple times. And then you've got the tail coming out the bottom, which will be perfect for attaching it to a headband. Okay? So that is basically the tiger. The, there's one last detail that I like to add. So I'm going to take another printed tiger stripe 260. So before I blow this up, I'm actually going to tie a knot at the end of the balloon where the print stops. That way it won't... We'll just get the printed part of the balloon here. So I'm going to cut off the rest because I want all of his tail to have stripes on it. I don't want there to be any parts of it that don't have any stripes. Okay, and then I'm going to take my balloon and really push it down on the pump to where the stripes start. And we're going to blow this up. So we've got a nice stripey balloon with stripes all the way. Now, if you want to be really fancy, you can let the air out of this and then we can actually twist it around our finger so it's going to have a nice curve or curl to it when we blow it up. So I haven't tried this before with these printed 260s, so we'll just give it a go here and see how it works. Here we go. works for me. So we've now we've got a nice curly striped tiger tail. <laughs> so go ahead and tie that off. This is a long one. That's cool. And then once you've got his tail, your doesn't have to be this long. You can do it however you want. And then just attach that in between uh, two petals here on our base. So just take that nozzle and wrap it in there. Okay, and then you can kind of arrange his tail to get it facing whichever direction you want it to go. So that is the tiger. Let's go ahead and draw his eyes on now. All right, so he's got his eyes on. I gave him some little dots on his nose and whiskers. So that's it. Pretty simple. Um, again, you don't have to use printed balloons for this. You can just use regular balloons, and then you'll just have to draw the stripes on, or just don't put any stripes in leave it as a cat hat <laughs> cat on a hat okay <laughs> so to make this a hat we're just going to attach a headband we've got this nice little tail sticking out here on the bottom so we're just going to place my headband flat on the bottom i'm going to take that tail and just wrap it around a couple of petals just once or twice All right and then we'll turn him to get everything arranged correctly and now I've got a cat hat, <laughs> tiger hat, but it could be either or. So there you go. I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. Please let me know what you think in the comments below. Ooh, my hair is going crazy right now. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching this. There are some awesome pictures from people who made last week's uh, blue macaw. So I want to show you guys those pictures real quick. You guys totally blew me away. So talented. Your birds look fantastic. I love all of them. Thank you so much for sharing your pictures with me. 
I'd love to see pictures of this tiger hat if you guys attempt to make it. So just go to my Facebook page, the link is in the description and you can post all of your pictures there. I love seeing what you guys are coming up with. If you enjoyed this video, let me know by just giving me a little thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed, make sure you go ahead and subscribe to this channel. That way you get notified every time I put out a new balloon animal tutorial and other cool balloon related videos. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.